Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my, uh, again, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time I didn't share my videos. Today I'm going to help you regarding a party. Please, uh, in a party it's very easy and these days they are giving an exam in research things. Uh, soon I'm going to publish a video regarding a research party as well. In the research, the main thing you need to focus is about the vocabs. The, there are certain vocabs, especially assumption, hypothesis, uh, significant, and then uh, some many more uh, research words are there, prevalence. If you are able to identify and uh, knowing this uh, vocab meaning, I'm sure that you will not suffer so much. And also, you need to be focused with the percentage or percentage in a number, like a uh, a third means 30 and uh, 25th again they will turn it to the one fourth and uh, 20 again one fifth like this and then uh, late 70s or late 80s you need to be very careful this these things are uh, coming from the research especially so you need to um, know all these things uh, vocab at the earliest if you want to clear the party section in the OAT. And not only that, not every time research things will come, but sometimes disease condition may come as well. So I'm going to deal today with the goldstone. Uh, goldstone is very easy topic and I'm sure that every student can finish within the 10 minutes. So what things uh, more of the students are doing mistake in this part is I'm going to explain you now. First thing most of the students are making with the how goldstones are confirmed. It is very easy, right? Seeing the word only, I can identify that this is going to be in the part of diagnosis or assessment. So you can see this all other definition, nothing to worry at all. As I said, it is in the assessment. I can see that, but not very really sure. In assessment, sometimes they will show the diagnosis together because every time diagnosis will not be in the different text, it will be in the uh, assessment as well so you should make sure while you are scribbling down okay so we can see diagnosis is mentioned along with the assessment right so you can write part b okay and many of the students also they are doing mistake with the text one two three and all i know that in a text it is given one two three four but here question they have clearly mentioned that which text it should be a b c d please never try to write text three here okay you will get the wrong answer i'm saying this especially to the students who are studying by themselves because i have a student as well they are doing the mystic same one they are following the numerical rather than the alphabetical which is mentioned in the question i know that sometimes there there is a, some text showing a number one two three but uh, what i'm telling to every student is please please try to read these things before writing all these things okay because if you are making mistake in this part having a right answer also doesn't make sense so you will lose the mouse and party is going to help you a lot to score 350 above so please uh, don't be leaning on this aspect and try to consider and take into action at the earliest so as i said how goals are not confirmed whenever you are getting the question like paragraph confirmation and all it means it is through the examination assessment and the diagnosis you can directly go with that and you will get the answer okay now next thing i would like uh, rest of things students are able to manage as well some of the few students they are not able to recall with the pharmaceutical options for managing the gallstone you can clearly see that right pharmaceutical here maybe they are not mentioned clearly about the medication but pharmaceutical means you can see it is non-surgical treatment means what things we may give therapy and we may give medication as well so you can write the answer You can write answer from the text three. This is the text three, right? So you can write C, okay? You can write in this way in the paragraph, okay? You should know that at the earliest, the signs of the person has a joint is and the joint is where they have mentioned in the assessment, hardly uh, separate, they didn't mention. So I won't be getting there. So here is the aspect only joint is clearly mentioned. So, so you can write A. Okay, this is a way to tackle in the party, party paragraph one. Now, 
now i'm going to deal with the fill in blank okay uh, so please be careful with the keyword which is already mentioned what test is usually carried out to check for the goldstone so most of the student what they are doing mistake is they are writing the test as well if the test is already mentioned in the question as or in the fill in blank please don't try to repeat that again okay and now here what i would like to mention is most of the students are not getting the this uh, this question number number nine and uh, i will tell you how you will get this test right test means again diagnosis okay and confirmation test these all are related so i'm going to what test is usually carried out okay usually means which is a most common right so this usually you should keep in mind or jot down in your notebook and write that it is related to the most common so many students there what they are finding is either they are writing um what test usually carried or goldstone maybe it's a abdominal examination they wrote this some are writing x-ray some are writing different things okay please look carefully the most common diagnostic test was goldstone right so you can take this aspect without any hesitant right the test usually and the most common is going to be the carried out is going to be the answer of ultrasound scan okay if ultrasound ultras, ultrasound scan test is mentioned means you should not mention the test in the answer clear and now next i like to discuss about this all are easy not not making much problem so i'm taking the more uh, common mistake the student are doing okay and this question as well which non-surgical treatment is mostly uh, used to treat the kidney stone again these are um, mistake uh, by the uh, student are doing lots of mistake in this aspect as well so non-surgical right we saw the non-surgical only only so you can directly jump to this okay and now what students are doing is now a question they are not reading probably first thing and they they are saying is now most mostly used to treat kidney stone right and they are saying uh, non-surgical and then kidney uh, lithotripsy is saying or uh, rarely used for the goldstone the question is not a goldstone right so after that there is an answer but students are reading this aspect and they are jumping to the some other part and they are saying stones are found or there's so they are taking the answer ERCP, which is totally wrong. You should try to read the full sentence when you are getting the doubt. Okay. So lithotripsy is the answer, but student will write another one because they are seeing rarely used for the goldstone. Yes, it is used for the goldstone, but however, the answer is a kidney stone. So here the question you can see, right? Which non-surgical treatment is mostly used to treat kidney stone, not the goldstone? That catalyst most of the students are doing so i'm sharing with you guys please this but is there means it is contradicting the statement so lithotripsy is the answer widely used for the kidney stone so that's why your answer is lithotripsy nor ercp nor any of the medication and all okay and now uh, last but not least i don't want to uh, take all the all your time for the explanation now this 17 as well uh, 17 i will tell you uh, during the surgery if the goldstone are found or the bile duct are uh, expanded uh, with a minor cut i will show you this as well so some students they are doing mistake by uh, seeing that mm, they can write anything okay some sometimes what they will mention is uh, during surgery if goldstone are found the bile this one where is it oh, hold on okay um if the stone are found right so some student what they are trying to mention it if the stone are found the bile duct is widened widened expanded okay expanded expanded clearly is mentioned and this is a synonyms okay you should take down in your notebook widen and the small incision is uh, 
paraphrase with a minor cut. This way you can take the uh, keyword and jot down in your book and you should study repeatedly when you are practicing the reading, OET reading, okay? So this is a way and you will get the answer. You can write without hesitation and electrically. And is there right? So should not repeat again. Instead, electrically uh, hit it, wire, okay? You can jot down that answer and you will get the one marks. This is a way to tackle in the party. I'm sure you guys uh, can learn from this idea and please try to implicate in your um in your practice as well as during the exam as well and all the best for everyone this is for my party for today thank you so much